Good morning, this is Dave from Allen Adventures 4x4. Uh, this morning I actually wanted to give a walkthrough on uh, my setup at camp. How it is, what it looks like, uh, just a quick overview. I'm actually uh, cooking breakfast, so you can uh, check that out just real quickly. Uh, but I wanted to give a, a quick uh, description on, on what it looks like when I'm at camp. Uh, I'm actually uh, out here uh, just with Leo today. We actually uh, we spent last night here. Uh, we're actually in the outskirts of Grandfather Mountain, uh, North Carolina. Uh, beautiful area up here. Uh, great time of year. This is uh, you know towards the end of October, and this is just uh, absolutely incredible. Hey guys, I wanted just to show. Uh, this is actually um, uh, a couple of different things at camp that I use that I actually really enjoy. Um, so. I have uh, two Jackeries. Um, I first ended up buying a um, 500 watt Jackery. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, I ran all of my uh, lights. Um, I, you know, recharged uh, all my you know LED um, lanterns that I have as well. Uh, so at camp, I can just recharge those. Um, but I tell you what, I, I picked up these little stream lights, and they're absolutely incredible. I have them running along. Let's see, have them running along the side. And then it goes all the way up uh, over the tent and obviously all the way to the truck. So I have a 2000 watt as well. <clears throat> and with the 2000 watt, uh, that's what I run in the fridge and so forth on. I was actually really nervous because when I first purchasing the fridge, uh, it is a Dometic 95 liter. So it's a fridge freezer combo. Absolutely love it. Um, that can just have everything in that thing. Uh, family of five uh, things that we need. I mean, it's just everything I can come out for. Extend a weekend and I am set for sure. Picked up the 2000 because I was nervous that I wouldn't power it, but I did a Dometic hardware kit as well. Um, and so with that hardware kit, uh, I'm able to recharge uh, the 500 and 2000 as I go. And obviously with the solar panel as well, I have a 100 watt uh, Jackery solar panel. Um, that thing actually works out great. Uh, I can just keep recharging, you know, uh, at night, uh, let it run down. Um, had I known, you know, what I would have bought the 2000, yeah, uh, just because, you know, it's the added security and added benefit of having that extra one. Um, and then just to know that, hey, in like warmer weather, warmer temperatures, you know, the 2000 just holds up, obviously, a whole lot longer. Um, and then the solar panel uh, process with uh, the Jackeries are just absolutely incredible. Uh, anyways, I'll run these lights out at camp, uh, you know, just having the kiddos. I just like to uh, uh, have, I guess, the, the area lit, especially when I'm coming out here at night. Last night, I didn't get in until right at uh, sunset. So to be able to, you know, have some lights to set up, absolutely really appreciate that for sure. So guys, this morning, uh, I just wanted to kind of point this stuff out uh, while I'm cooking out a little steak and eggs this morning. Uh, uh, guys, I picked this up at uh, Overland Expo East. Uh, this thing is great, fantastic. Um, I was initially just gonna do uh, the pump itself, uh, but then uh, I actually really like this. And it comes with uh, the magnet to be able to hold it on there as well. Super, absolutely convenient with the kiddos, be able to, you know, kids can come here, have a full sink, they can wash their hands. You know, it's not a, it's not a situation where I have to kind of constantly uh, monitor that. You know, super easy setup. Uh, this only took me, you know, with the with the Gazelle 10, I kind of dialed it in a little bit quicker. Um, and so with that said, I was able to kind of get everything set up in, in really about, you know, a, a little over an hour, about an hour 15 maybe. Um, kind of got everything set up. So guys, I just want to talk briefly on uh, the set up back here uh you know i try to keep it pretty basic um but, you know i try to keep all my storage in here as i mentioned um and then uh, this is a uh, again a 95 liter dometic um you know i have looked at doing the um there's a uh, couple companies that that have a, a slider system where it, it, it comes out straight and then you you know you can uh you know have a lever where it pushes down. I saw a couple companies do that at Overland Expo East. Um, and those things are absolutely great. I would love that for one, uh, whenever the IU cab, the tilt, well, you have to pack your stuff in accordance because obviously if not, then you're having to, um, 
you know, all your, all your, you know, your eggs and everything kind of being, you know, sloshed all around whenever you come to tilt it. Um, you know, so you just have to do a very good job of packing with the tilt. Um, I would much rather prefer to have a slider that comes out and I can drop it down. Uh, I talked to a couple of the engineers at uh, Overland Expo um, a couple weeks back and, 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 you know, they were just describing that, hey, they make one up to, I think, a 75 uh, liter uh, Dometic fridge. But the reason why they couldn't do one uh, yet for the 95 uh, or larger or around around this size for, for any manufacturer is because of the weight. Because if you really think about it, if you if you cram this thing full of, of drinks and water and food, I mean, this thing weighs a lot, uh, absolutely a lot. And when I pack this thing up, I mean, you know, to, I'll pull this thing out and I have to, I have to, you know, m muscle this thing to kind of pick it up to, to have on the tilt. Um, so, I mean, this thing, this thing weighs a lot, but uh, I wish they would do uh, a slider system so I could just have that thing come out and then drop down. I have thought about doing the deck slide, the, the whole truck bed slide. Uh, so that would just kind of slide out. Uh, but, you know, it would be just a little bit higher, uh, which is not really a big deal. But I think that it would clear the top. And this is where I'm having the problems at. I'm having a problem with the top because if you can see, this does not open all the way. So I have about five or so inches that I'm having to uh, reach back into there. I, can even, I really can't even reach the bottom part. I'm only able to reach the top part of the fridge uh so that i'm using I'm, I'm i'm not able to use all the space that i want to unless i physically take it out uh the fridge out which is really a pain in the butt and i, I, don't, I only really do that to, to clean it um and so uh i just want a different solution with that um guys so over here is my uh jackery 500 uh i keep this out during the day uh just to kind of uh charge um you know, all my electronics, you know, uh, Bose speaker that, you know, I, I play uh, everything on uh, when I'm out of camp um, and, uh, you know, just recharge all my devices throughout the day. So the next day or when I go back home and pack up and go back home, I'm not having to charge a bunch of stuff when I get home. All my stuff's charged. I can throw it back in. I can leave it there and then just recharge the Jackery whenever I get home or on the way home, obviously. And so I have that one there. I have the 2000 around the corner and I'll show you that. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll pretty much leave that one there. This, it's not really a time that, that I need it out of the truck unless, uh, you know, the power's out. Um, it's something where, you know, I'm having to lift that thing out of there. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of a beast to get it all the way back there. Obviously, it's behind the, the IU cab uh, tilt slider. Uh, so it's kind of a hassle to get out. But um, highly impressed with the deck system. Um, you know, on the sides, it, you know, you're, you're, you're losing some of the storage space, um, but I do, um, I do really like it. Um, it it's held up well. Um, you know, I can throw anything on top of it, inside of it, no problems whatsoever. Um, you know, I've had uh, a little bit of rain come in from the sides uh, and obviously, you know, no rain it or nothing gets in, wet inside. So how I like that. Uh, oh, also have the, the water port that I leave in there. Uh, usually I, I, I hook up my shower. I'm only here for a day, so I, I, I chose not to set that up. But shower bathroom, uh, I set that up on the, on the other side over here uh, where the Jackery is, the Jackery 2000, sorry. Uh, and I set that up. And so I just have, I run the, the water line and I run that through uh, the top of this, um, the shower curtain. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously I have a shower. Uh, next purchase for sure will be the Julka, uh, especially in these kind of weathers that I'm coming out here and camping at around Grandfather Mountain, obviously at night. Last night it was actually pretty good. It only got down to about 42. So with that said, um, you know, not really a big issue, but to, to be able to have a nice hot shower at camp, oh, I can't wait. So Julka is probably one of my next few items that will be uh, next for purchasing. Um, but yeah, with that said, uh, this is actually really nice too. I, I've set this um, little awning up. Um, you know, when you're, um, you know, at camp just to have the protection, um, you know, from really winds covering down your, your stove top. So winds not so hard, uh, hard coming in also to, uh, you know, just the, um, have up. So in case you get, you know, quick shower, uh, rain shower that comes in and, um, you know, just to have up. So that protects you from that and it keeps all your stuff dry, you know, all your, 
I like to keep all my kitchen stuff out. Uh, now I do put all, all my food items up in the truck, uh, obviously at night. Um, you know, I am, uh, you know, bear conscious, you know, I, I want to be um, knowing of, of animals out, um, you know, so I, I'll, I'll put all my food products up for sure. I uh, put those up in the truck and lock those up, um, you know, and, but, uh, you know, I do leave uh, the rest of the stuff out, my plates and, and other items out here and just to make life a little bit easier. Uh, but with that being said, guys, um, absolutely love the setup. Let me show you around the side uh, with the Jackery and uh, kind of go over a couple things with that. All right, guys. So I'm over here uh, by the Jackery 2000. Uh, I have my 100 watt solar panel. I usually actually keep this on top of the roof, and I'm, I'm playing. You know, obviously in the woods of North Carolina, as any of you know, around uh, eastern part of the, the U.S. You know, it's in, in heavily uh, wooded area. Uh, you know, obviously some of the leaves are falling now, um, but and which is absolutely beautiful here. Um, but I'm trying to paint, a, you know, a little tag to try to figure out where the best spots are to, to have the jet, or have the uh, solar panel. So, uh, trying a little trial and error with that. Uh, but as of right now, I'm, I'm using the, the DC hardwire kit. DC hardwire is up here. Like I said, I only run for about two hours before I recharge the battery to by cranking it up. Uh, so yeah, I just ran that uh, straight through up under the cab to the battery. Uh, this is my Jackery 2000. With that said, um, highly impressed with it. Uh, like I said, I, I've, I've had no other, no other issues other than the tip of it. Uh, now, obviously it's plugged in now. What I'm referring to is the actual tip itself. Uh, here, this is for the, the Jackery 500. But for the tip, it's actually it's actually burning or, or melting off. It gets so hot, it melts all that plastic right here where it starts to kind of go down into um so it just it melts all of it um and, and you know I, I would assume if you left it in long enough it would cause a fire um so very concerning for me uh especially for gear and just the safety of you know my family um so just a very concerning uh but again if i don't leave it in for more than two hours it doesn't happen uh, just something to think about. Also, I've actually driven driven longer than two hours, so it's not that I'm not driving for two hours. It's that when it's sitting still, plugged in, it's like that. So uh, you know, I can, I can do a three hour drive, have it plugged in, charge the whole time, not an issue. So I'm pretty sure that it's just when it's sitting plugged in for longer than two hours. That's what happens. So anyways, uh, that's that. Love the Molly panels. Uh, I want to. Uh, put the Julka up here and again I have my water port so yeah guys when it when it's just me out and um, I'm you know out here by myself and uh, you know if it's midday today I think it's gonna actually get up to um, I actually I think it's 17 degrees out here today which is just gonna be incredible um, you know, weather like that, uh, I might pour maybe just a, a little pot of boiling water into the water port. It's a, I believe it's a four gallon, um, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's a four gallon, anyway. Um, but I'll pour, uh, probably just one little pot of boiling water in it. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll just take a shower. Um, and so, great, I can just have it here, no problems. Um, you know, also if I'm, uh, if whenever I wash dishes, I take that out and I take it over. Um, you know, it's just super easy to wash dishes. Really, I could bring one of my tables over here, and which I have done that before. I'll bring a table over and just have it, you know, hanging on the side, and I'll just, I'll just do my dishes here. It just makes things really easy. Right now, I have it over in camp, uh, over by the uh, the gazelle. Uh, it just works out for me right there. Uh, for, for now, uh, but I have done it here and, and it's, it's super easy just to keep the water port in there I don't have to take it in and out. I can just leave it there um, Makes life really easy. Jeffrey brand. They, they put out a great product um, You know, I, I, I will probably invest in, in a couple other uh, solar panels um, You know when we're out in the open um, You know other places uh, I definitely utilize them uh, especially, you know, for example, uh, uh, you know, Overland uh, uh, Expo up in uh, Arlington, we, um, you know, I used them the, the entire weekend. Um, yeah, it was, um, you know, just easy just to, just to kind of move those around every, every couple of hours. Um, I had that on top of the roof and, and that was great. 
uh, I would maybe like to have, um, you know, the, the, uh, I've seen a picture with two burners over the sink inside the deck system. I think that would be great. I would actually lose a little bit of storage, but I would also gain that ease and accessibility and really the uh, how fast it takes to, to set up. Because really that's it. You know, it, it's how fast can you set up, you know, especially when you have the dog running around, you have the kids playing, you know, or you just get to camp late. You've been driving all day. You've been, you know, exploring, sightseeing, hiking, whatever it is. You get to camp. How fast can you set up? You know, if you're having to take an, you know, hour, hour and a half, two hours sometimes to, to do a full grand setup when you have the, you know, the kids around, uh, that's a lot. Um, now, obviously, you know, with my wife helping, you know, it's, it, it's definitely faster, of course, but, uh, you know, it's, it's still a lot of time setting up. So, uh, if anybody has any ideas with the setup that I already currently have to make things maybe a little bit faster on my setup and breakdown, please let me know, uh, or a product that can help in that. I'm definitely trying to review those things as well. Um, well guys, thank you all so much, uh, for checking out. And, um, if you have any questions, please comment below. Uh, I'll try to follow up on uh, everything as well. Um, guys, if, if you have a chance definitely come up to, uh, the mountains of North Carolina, cause this is absolutely beautiful. All right, guys. Cheers.